discussed earlier again repeating the same stuff displacement time velocity time acceleration time now we are talking about acceleration time graph so area gives us the velocity and gradient gives us nothing so this gradient right here is zero that actually just tells me that acceleration is zero and at zero acceleration we cannot say the object is moving or not why so velocity time graph an object moving at constant velocity suppose 10 meters per second is actually moving but the acceleration is zero because the gradient is zero so constant acceleration means either the object is at rest or the object is moving with constant velocity constant and zero acceleration means this zero acceleration constant velocity or negative acceleration that just shows that it is decreasing velocity and these signs in some situation would mean that the direction is opposite let's clear the problems with the examples example number four the acceleration time graph shows the motion of a car over 20 seconds period. Calculate the change in velocity between time 0 and time 10. So displacement time, velocity time, acceleration time. From acceleration to velocity, it is an area. So from 0 to 10, base into height is 40 change in velocity is 40 meters per second b okay b part says given that the car was initially moving at 15 so this card right here this is a change of 40 if it was already moving at 15 because of this acceleration it change there was a change in speed of 40 so the new speed would be 40 plus 15 that is 55 and when we talk about 16 seconds, so this unit right here is 6 seconds and this area is 6 into 3, 18. Negative acceleration shows deceleration. So from 55, it is reducing its speed by 18 units. So 55 minus 18 is 37. So when the time is 16 seconds, the speed is 37 meters per second. C part says draw the velocity time graph of the motion of the car. Now you have to look at the acceleration time graph from acceleration to velocity is actually the area. In the first section it says it was already at 15. So we start from 0, 15 and then in first 10 seconds the car gained a speed of 40 more that is 55. So in first 10 seconds, it is at a speed of 55. Then from 10 to 16, from 10 to 16, it reduces the speed by 18 units and comes at a point to 37. So this is your velocity time graph. The acceleration time graph shows the motion of the car racing car over 10 seconds of race describe what is happening between time 0 and 2 seconds so when we look at the graph from 0 to 2 it is a negative acceleration that means it is decelerating and if we describe it further this shows 3 into 2 6 so whatever the speed of car is it reduced it by 6 meters per second in 2 seconds from 2 to 4, from 2 to 4 the acceleration is 0. That means the car is moving with constant velocity from time 2 to 4 seconds. C part from 4 to 8, from 4 to 8 seconds acceleration is 4. We can say the car is accelerating at a constant rate or we can say that this area is basically 4 by 4 that is 16 
car gained a speed of 16 meters per second whatever the speed was now it is at 16 more than that d part says let me clear this d part says given that the initial velocity of the racing car was 44 meters per second its velocity at 8 seconds okay initial velocity was 44 right there 3 into 2 is 6 negative 6 then 2 to 4 no change and then from 4 to 8 is 4 into 4 16 so 44 minus 6 plus 0 plus 16 area under the graph gives us 55 meters per second Uh, acceleration time 1 meter per second for 4 seconds the motorcyclist accelerates at a rate of 1 meters per second for 4 seconds is like this at 1 before traveling at a constant velocity means no acceleration for next 6 seconds is 10 and 0.5 deceleration is this till the next 4 seconds 0 0.5 in negative side this is positive one then it says draw the velocity time graph and the initial velocity is 18 so initial velocity is 18 this area is base into height that is 4 22 so initial velocity 18 in the first four seconds it reaches a speed of 22 then traveling at constant speed for next six seconds constant speed for next six seconds at time 10 and deceleration 0 0.5 into 4 is 2 so reduces by 2 and comes at 20 clear now thank you C part hence calculate the distance traveled so that is area and we can split it into different sections so first one is a trapezium 1 by 2 sum of parallel sides is 18 plus 22 times height second section is a rectangle 6 into 22 third section is again a trapezium 1 by 2 into sum of parallel sides which is 22 and 20 into height which is 4 <laughs> We'll <laughs>